I'm going to run you through building a podcast website with PodPage very, very quickly. Go to podpage.com, click preview your website, and enter your podcast name. We're going to use Armchair Expert with Dax Shepard. Enter your email address and where you found out about us. If you don't have a pod page yet, you can click create a site manually up here. And if, you're, if your podcast doesn't come up, click use your podcast feed and just enter your feed here. Then click generate my page. At this point, we're going to pull in all your podcast info. We're going to pull in all your episodes and all your reviews and create you 15 different websites to choose from. And this is just a starting point. You can do tons of customization from this point. But here they all are. Uh, we've been doing this video for less than 20 seconds and you already have uh, 15 different websites that you can launch today. Then you add your email address. And this basically creates an account so we can save all of the different customizations that you're about to do. Um, we'll pull up sort of the confirmation that your website's ready. We've imported all your podcast info. We've grabbed 300 episodes and created pages for them, which look amazing for Google. We pulled in 500 reviews. We've optimized the entire site for Google and all search engines, and we've optimized it for mobile devices. So if this is smaller, it looks phenomenal. Um, we've also created an about page and done about other stuff. So let's start customizing. First thing we're gonna do is just ask you to confirm the basic information. So did we get the name, description, and your artwork correct? Uh, we will probably remove with Dax Shepard from Armchair Expert, just to simplify it. Click Next. Now we're going to talk about colors really quickly. The, um, the way that we handle colors is we want you just to set one and we will apply it everywhere. So because Dax uses this yellow, we will choose something somewhat similar. And you'll see when we do that now the subscribe button, the links, um, and all buttons throughout the whole site are now yellow. So you can change this to whatever color you want. If red is your color, it'll do the same thing. But we want to make it really easy for it to feel like you without you needing to do a lot of work. Click Next. We use Google Fonts for, um, for all the fonts on the page. And so if you have a specific font that you like, like if Railway is your font, um, you just change it once. And now all the headers are Railway. And if you have a certain body text font, uh, like Georgia, um, you can change that. And now all of your body text is Georgia. So we try to make it really easy for you to just make these couple changes, colors and fonts, and the whole site follows. We'll go next. And now for social links, um, if you are uh, active on social media, you can add your, your Twitter link or your Facebook link. I'll add mine. Um, and not only will it start uh, show a widget that we'll show you later, but up in the top right, um, you'll see in your navigation bar, there'll be links to your social profiles. We will click next. If you monetize your website or your podcast, you can do that through your website. So let's say you have a Patreon link, um, you can add that in. And now what you can see is we've created a donate page that you can fill out talking about why someone should note, donate to you. Um, since Patreon typically is more of a membership, you can actually change it to memberships and then the donate page turns to become a member. And then down here on your website, there's a big Patreon badge. So that's all you have to do. Suddenly you are um, collecting money through your website. Uh, like I mentioned before, every one of your episodes has a page. Here's an example of the page. Um, these are all search engine optimized. We use the media player from your podcast hosts, and we link to all of the other places people can listen to your podcast. Uh, there's a few different customizations and we can do more later, depending on how you want your episode images to show. So that's completed the basic site. We'll quickly look at your website and then we'll take you into the dashboard. Uh, and then we'll do more videos on our YouTube channel about details about the dashboard. But here's your website. You don't ever need to touch this again if you don't want, because it will stay up to date every time you release a new episode. Um, you can see there's a whole list of episodes with full search. So if someone wanted to search for any of your different episodes, if they want to search for common, boom. Um, and you've got, so you've got all your, your episode lists. You have an about page that we've created. This is totally customizable. Um, we pull in all your reviews from Apple and a couple other places and let people review on the site if you want. And so here's, here's all of the reviews that you've ever gotten. They're easily tweetable. So if someone wanted to send a tweet, they just click tweet and now boom, they can spread the word about your podcast. Uh, there's also the rate show. So if you want to drive people to rate your show on Apple podcasts, and we can show you in a different video, how people can leave actual reviews on your website. Um, we build you a contact form 
And so people can send you an email without needing you needing to expose what your email address is. Um, and like I said, here's the Patreon page. You can go and you can add tons of content to this to, to explain what your Patreon is all about. Um, and then of course there's subscribe links. So again, uh, this is maybe a few minutes. Um, we also have set up a way for you to collect email addresses from people. And like I said before, we've already added all of your links and then added uh, Twitter. So um, this is essentially most of what you'll need for your website and you haven't actually had to do the customization. Last thing I'll mention is pod page websites, especially on the pro tier come with a voicemail icon. So you'll see in the bottom right, a little microphone. If this is clicked, it lets your listeners leave you an actual voicemail and they can start recording, um, leave you a voicemail about how great your podcast is and send it over. So we won't complete that, but um, it gives another nice way of your listeners interacting with you through your website. So we hope you enjoy it. When you go to edit your website, you're now going to be in your dashboard and we will do additional videos about going through your dashboard. So look out for those. Thanks for trying PodPage.